Guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath, and in this episode, we're talking about something tremendously exciting. Indiana Jones on 4K. This is the four movie collection. It doesn't say complete because they're working on movie number five right now. Uh, but it is the four movie collection in 4K for the first time on 4K. Um, you know, there it's interesting. There's there's a digital copy included of all four movies, but there's no Blu-ray version. Maybe they're banking on us already having those Blu-rays. I like to say when I'm promoting 4K stuff, I like to say, hey, future-proof your collection, because most of the time you get the 4K, you get the digital, and you get a Blu-ray copy. Uh, so if you're not yet 4K ready, you will be one day, because we all upgrade our TVs and stuff. Not the case here. 4K and digital only. So. Uh, also worth mentioning, there was a Steelbook release of this that I know some other YouTubers have reviewed. I held off on that because I really wanted the standard packaging for this. Uh, what was important to me is that everything had its own tray and its little hub, and it does. We'll get into the bells and whistles. Let's kick the contents off with this. What does Indiana Jones look like on 4K? Guys, that's the most important thing. I'm happy to report. Indy looks great in 4K. You know, I am old enough to have seen all of the movies in the theater, but I didn't. The only one that I think I saw in the theater was uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. And so, it's funny, there was actually like a, a repertory screening of, uh, of Raiders of the Lost Ark many years ago on my birthday. And that's how I wanted, like, I want to go see Raiders on the big screen on my birthday. And they showed the DVD. So, of course, it didn't look good. I was like, I could have stayed home and watched this. Um, so, I do not, I've never had the experience of watching these movies on the big screen. But because of the 4K format, now I can. Because, of course, the goal of a 4K transfer for something that's shot on film is to look like film. It's, you know, digital. Every time I do a 4K review or coverage, someone says, yeah, but they don't all look so good. Everything shot on film that I've ever seen a 4K transfer of always looks better than a Blu-ray. Um, that film negative contains so much information, 35 millimeter, 70 millimeter. It, there's so much information in that film cell. And when you can take it and you can really scan it, man, 4K on home media for something like this is the closest we can get to being in that front row seat on opening day in 1981 or 1984 or 1989. Uh, it's, I'm going to tell you guys, I'm watching Raiders of the Lost Ark and the beginning, you know, they, they introduce Indiana Jones. It's like the expedition going through the jungle. Uh, and then there's a hero shot when we first see Harrison Ford, he's in shadow and he turns around and he steps into the light and I got goosebumps. I love Indiana Jones. Indiana, I'm like, this is my generation of super cinema, right? I mean, Star Wars, Indiana Jones, like George Lucas, Steven Spielberg, they're the authors of my childhood. And I revere these movies. I think Raiders of the Lost Ark is a perfect movie. Uh, my relationship with the others, the sequels, they ch it changes over the years. I used to really love The Last Crusade and Temple of Doom. It's, it's interesting because at the end of the day, I do think that like if you were like, hey, what's Indiana Jones about? I say it's an archaeologist fighting the Nazis in the 30s you know, maybe the early 40s. Like, that's what I think Indiana Jones is. So when we go before that with Temple of Doom, we go after that with Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, it doesn't really feel like pure Indiana Jones to me. But then the Temple of Doom, you got that wonderful bridge scene, you got Mola Ram, Om Nam Shabai, Om Nam Shabai, Kalima, Shaktude Kalima. There's a lot of great stuff in these movies. Uh, and having them on 4k i mean these are the classics that i want to cherish forever and because of 4k i get the utmost that pinnacle experience the, the paramount experience not the studio the hey double double meaning um so let's talk about the actual packaging and all that jazz as i say i i sprang for the standard release i got a great this was like 50 dollars on deep discount on Amazon right now as I'm recording this video for you guys is like 90 uh, which is no so I uh, I was happy by the way let me show you guys something um, this is I've bought these movies in every generation I have the VHS trilogy still sealed too I realized I didn't show this in my VH my recent VHS collection tour so there's the VHS copies I have a an unsealed copy too. Here's the DVDs from 2000 whenever, uh, 2003. 
beautiful. Uh, this is probably the best physical media version packaging wise of Indiana Jones for my money. And by the way, when this came out in 2003, I watched the entire box set in one day. All the movies, all the special features. I'm a super fan, you guys. I'm just kidding. Uh, and then, of course, the Blu-rays, the Indiana Jones complete. See, they say complete adventures, but uh, 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 it's not complete anymore because uh, there's popcorn to be sold and there's there's money to be made. Uh, so this, I, you see, like it's my, my generations, right? So this is the latest. This is the 4K and it's the flimsiest of any of these. Like it feels like if I sit on it on accident or something, I know like if a stiff breeze blows, it's gonna like crick, crick, crick. And that's paramount cutting costs in the era of a decline in physical mainstream physical media sales. And we saw this with the Mission Impossible TV series box set. They gave us paper packaging in these little paper cardboard envelopes. And I mean, my cat stood on it and it was just like, it was like an accordion, just it's like, man, <laughs> and you can't really be like, well, I paid too much for these, for this, because you didn't. It like, <laughs> like many seasons, I think it was, was it five seasons? However many seasons of Mission Impossible, you know, like uh, 32 discs or 26, I think it's 26 discs. It was like 80 bucks or something like that. Like you can't complain. The same thing applies to this. You know, I paid $50 on deep discount. It's flimsy. But I can't, they, they clearly have cut costs, so they're making more money. And I get it. I don't like it, but I get it. So uh, everything is kind of in a fold-out package. These are the artifacts. You know, I kind of like that they've put the artifacts on the, the packaging. Um, let's, here's our little, our little hype sheet that goes on the back. You know, this was included on the back of the, the packaging. We have, um, we have five 4Ks, five discs. It, Raiders gets its own tray, as it should, because it stands head and shoulders above everything else. Um, and then, you know, the rest are kind of stacked. I don't really mind. Actually, I don't mind at all. I'm fine with this. Like, everything gets its own. It goes click when you put it in. That's cool with me. Um, but, uh, okay, the, the special features disc is a Blu-ray. So, four uh, 4K discs and a Blu-ray for the special features. I like the theming here, but it's, I mean, this is so thin. Again, I know why. Here's the question, and everybody can weigh in because I don't think there's a right or a wrong answer. Would you, if you like, if you're buying this, if you're picking this up, would you have paid more for a more substantial package? Would you have paid another ten, fifteen, twenty dollars for something along the lines of this? This is what I, you know, like the Shout Factory, even you know, like the. Oh, like the Severin or like a lot of companies are doing this imprint, you know, give us a, a thick, sturdy cardboard box, individual cases. That's what I would have preferred. But for a mainstream release like this, they know they're going to sell a lot of them and they'll sell more if they can keep the cost low. Um, but would you, you know, what would you do? What would you prefer? We've also got this. I know this is not in the Steelbook version. Another reason I wasn't so sure about the Steelbook version I like this. This is a poster of the a poster of the posters. Uh, who watches the Watchmen? And then on the other side, not as wild about this, but I guess it's okay. It's like a map with all of the the locations of the you know like here's where, here's the well of soul. Here's the well of soul. See, this is where they go down and look for that. So you know it's <laughs> packaging wise, it's fine. It's not good. It's not bad. It's fine. It's serviceable. Indiana Jones deserves more than serviceable. Does he not? Like, look, I'm going to have to be so careful. By the way, this came, this, this is torn right out of the box. This, when, when the machine, when the, when the robot put it, the robot put it in here, it's, it's torn. Um, so I'm not pedantic enough that I'm going to be like, oh, I need a replacement, but it's not great. It's not great. Uh, special features wise, this carries over everything. I believe I, I even took screenshots. Like I'm comparing notes and I'm pulling out, you know, it's like, it's like I got the yarn tied the strings. I'm like trying to do my research on this. I believe it carries over everything from the Blu-ray box set. Uh, all the document, I think there's two documentaries about the making of Raiders of the Lost Ark. There's uh, the Temple of Doom, Last Crusade, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. The little mini features, like the creepy crawlies, or the, the crawlies of Indiana Jones, that sort of stuff. 
Um, but I think that there are still some things that were on the DVD edition. I mean, this had a killer bonus disc. Star Wars box set had a great bonus disc too. Um, and it has, it has some stuff that I do not believe made the transition. Uh, Indiana Jones making the trilogy. They, and maybe they've left that and maybe they're calling it something else because I haven't been through all the special features yet. Maybe they're calling it something else because of course it's not a trilogy anymore. It's now about to be a, a, a five. What's so four is quad a quintology. <laughs> they're gonna call it the, the Indiana Jones quintology and of course they'll keep going after that probably. Uh, let's I, I don't want this to turn into like a why are we doing Disney? Why are we making? Indiana Jones movies with a Harrison with a with an 80 year old Indiana Jones. Ah, uh, it's not what I vision when I you know, the hero of my childhood. That's not what I envision. But you know what? We'll see. And again, who are we to argue with all that popcorn to sell? Uh, so Indiana Jones on 4K, like I don't know. I'm happy. I'm not overjoyed. But what I try to tell myself is that. It's what's on the disc that matters. I, I never want to be so caught up in this, in the packaging and the, the, the artifact. I mean, that is important, especially in the era of preservation. I mean, these movies are not going anywhere. These movies will live, they'll outlive all of us on digital, in the, in the, in the cloud, wherever. Uh, we don't need to preserve these movies. These movies are everywhere, unaltered. They're ripped in 8K on someone's hard drive. I guarantee you. These movies are not in danger of disappearing, but we love, this is like I, I connect with this and the thing I connect the most with is this and when I like I just I look at this I have memories I have it really taps into my nostalgia I have an emotional connection with just this manifestation I don't have that with this but I try to tell, to tell myself that it's what's on those discs that's most important it's the movies and I got to tell you during these four movies uh I'm somewhere else. I'm with Indiana Jones on the adventure, on that ride, and you know, looking for that <laughs> occult artifact. Uh, and that's what matters. The movies have never looked better. The 4K. Sometimes, you know, when I do these these 4K reviews, people will be like, "Yeah, but is it worth an upgrade?" Like, yeah, of course, <laughs> it's absolutely worth. There, I can count on on one hand five or less uh, 4Ks that I've watched that I was like, "Well." looks the same as a blu-ray if, if you're watching 4ks and you think they look the same as a blu-ray uh maybe there's a technological issue there or something i mean it's four times the quality of a blu-ray this looks amazing i told you when i see harrison ford step out of the shadows first of all better frame rates better color uh whatever the grain they've they've kind of I can tell they've done a pass on the grain to make it a little less noticeable i love grain film is grain uh, and if you're a younger viewer who hasn't grown up in the era of film, film is grain. Grain is what makes film. So I know there's a lot of HD people. This just blows my mind. HD people will be like, well, I, I, the grain, it shouldn't be there. This is HD. No, HD, the grain is there because it's HD. So it's part and parcel with the film process. I can tell they've tamped down the grain a little bit. I don't love that. It's very common with mainstream releases. Back to the Future did it. Uh, it, it, all these, all the mainstream movies, um, a lot of grain management, but they've never looked so good. And they do take you back in time to the eighties in 2008. I don't even want to talk about kingdom of the crystals. I don't hate that movie, but like, it's so another thing. Everything is different in kingdom of the crystal skull. Did the first shot of the movie is a CGI shot. And it's, it's just, it's a different thing for me. It's a trilogy. My heart is in that trilogy, and uh, having these movies on 4K, um, I'm just I'm happy, and I'm gonna be watching them. I, you know, I I could go put on Raiders of the Lost Ark right now and just be lost for two hours. It's pure imagination. So I recommend it. I'll put a link in the description of this video if you want to scroll down and buy it. And if you do click through that link, you'll be supporting Serial at Midnight. Um, but the the capsule review for this is that they've they look fantastic they've never looked better they've carried over all the special features from the blu-ray version beyond the blu-ray i think there's some stuff that got left off but um uh this is you know for the price not the amazon price but for you know for the deep discount price or, or other retailers i i mean if you're 4k capable 
these are some of the greatest movies of all time. So highly recommended. Guys, thank you so much. What do you think about it? That's what I want to know. What do you think about the movies? What do you think about uh, if you are 4K and you have these? I'd love to know what you think about them. Uh, and we'll just continue that conversation in the comments below. Guys, thank you so much. Take care. And until next time, I will catch you later.